Hello, Robotosis here. Here I have a game called Ascend Hand of Cool. It's a free-to-play game that was released on Steam not too long ago. It might have been before that, I'm not sure. So I'm checking it out because I love free-to-play games. What I'm doing here in the game is directly after character creation, I ran into a room where I can pick one of three gods to follow. Here in the middle of the room we have Void, which is magic and evasion based with ice magic. Over here on the left we have Dark, which is damage and armor based with fire magic. And on the right of the room we have Light, which is speed and critical strikes, and they wield lightning. Nice. And then when you walk in the room, we have what appears to be the god, I'm guessing, of each element. This is the god of dark. It's a goddess. Just kind of chilling there, not even paying attention to me. Here's a god of void. Just kind of lunged forward. It looks like they're statues, they're not even moving. Here we have the God of Light, which looks like something straight out of Dark Souls. Well, I already know I want to pick Dark because I usually pick a melee class or a Berserker or something like that. This seems to fit the role. Blah blah, permanent, whatever. Oh, knife. Okay. town that does not worship dark so it looks like they're gonna have to die wow that is really satisfying I don't even think they're really hurting me they're just kind of throwing these little black things at me I crush him, I crush his house and his soul, it would seem. God damn. Here's a little priest. Holy shit. Wow, that is brutal. For some reason that feels highly excessive. And you know, that's okay. So now I would assume I turn this land to the dark side or something. Since I crushed there's people on me. Looks like they're just cheering me on for killing that freaking priest in the most brutal way possible. Holy crap. That is pretty neat. You know you don't mess with someone that has an army of humans on their back. Holy Christ, I just ate one. They don't even care. They're just jumping right on. Throw a human. Oh, right. He, he doesn't want to be thrown, but he will accept his fate. And the others are glad to be thrown, apparently. Whoa, don't do that. Come back. There you go. It's a little nifty. I don't know why you want to drop them, though, because they're freaking awesome. Look at that. Just crawling around. how the humans are actually fighting them. It doesn't look like they're doing too much damage, but it's still I like how simple these finishers are. You just press one button and kill them. You have to press a whole bunch of different buttons or do something crazy like hit the E button 5,000 times. That gets kind of annoying when you're trying to fight a whole bunch of monsters. It doesn't even look like there's a limit to how many humans I can have on me. Oh. And then 
that dude just kind of died. I don't even know. A lot of people. This looks like that same altar from last time, which was extremely freaking brutal. And I think it's gonna be something. Not to mention all these people I'm just crushing into oblivion. That is really satisfying. I don't know why. Maybe I have problems. Darkness one, bitch is zero. Oh, I see another altar. That priest is gonna get fucked. Looks like there's waves of him. So it's gonna be a second. Fighting isn't too bad in this game, this seems a little slow. I don't know, maybe I've been playing too much Dynasty Warriors. I do not like these little mage guys. Too slow to like keep hitting them, they keep flying away. D bags. That fireball attack, I can only use it once every few seconds. Those soul animations remind me of um, Devil May Cry. Oh, here we go. Best part of the game. <laughs> if I was that priest, I'd run the fuck away with how brutal he is. Not just stand there and get beheaded like my brothers. Well, shortly after that, my game crashed and didn't record the rest of it, but you didn't miss much. This whole area is the tutorial, so I haven't actually gone to the real meat of the game yet, but it seems really interesting. It also seems really heavily paid to win, but you can ignore that, obviously. You don't have to purchase the best gear right away. It lets you, from what I see, earn it. I, I wasn't doing too bad at earning the souls that you need to buy the best gear. It's free though, so I would try it if I were you. It's pretty fun. I'll leave a link in the description and uh, you can try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.